welcome to the Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals, it's Ranger Friendly Labor Tool Bear back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we're here to talk about crime. Not just crime, organized crime, really. Uh, it's, it's give and take, but we all have seen the photos of people going into Home Depot and Lowe's and other stores and just basically walking off with pretty much the entire store. Specifically, power tools, carts and carts loaded up with th tens of thousands of dollars in tools in some cases. Well, this has become a huge issue across the nation as a combination of store policies that barred uh, store employees from interacting or trying to prevent these thefts, as well as uh, state laws that essentially legalized crime. Uh, in fact, California has now reissued a, a law that they allowed lapsed that barred organized crime, even though they, they basically decriminalized lower tier uh, shoplifting. <laughs> Nothing quite as funny as Gavin Newsom denies that there's been any spike in crime. <laughs> you gotta love that guy. By the way, if you don't know, they're trying to recall him. Now, normally the den here, we don't get into politics, but there is a candidate that I'm really pushing for over there. I'm gonna put a link down below. You can check it out and you can see who the den of tools is backing to replace Gavin Newsom over there in California. You know, but the they've been rampant. San Francisco shoplifter video goes viral after officials argue that thefts aren't rampant. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they are. I got lots of friends who still live in the Bay Area. I hear from them all the time. They're basically, you know, car break-ins. Every it just it's everywhere. You can't stop it. Anyway, uh, but it's not just in San Francisco. It's across the country. I know we like to pick on San Francisco because, well, it's San Francisco. Anyway, here we got an article from the Tampa Bay Times: How the Home Depot's stolen tools are fueling Florida's drug trade. Apparently, they're. Uh, the, these these crime syndicates are getting people addicted to drugs, using their addiction to get them to go in and steal tools that they then sell on the black market. Uh, they this one ring was caught uh, with I think it's something like two point or at least responsible for two point four million dollars in uh, tools being stolen uh, over the course of two to three months. In fact, if you didn't know this, according to this survey here, uh, just behind fashion apparel and accessories. Uh, home improvement, which is batteries, plants, power tools, and building supplies. Plants? Really? People stealing a lot of plants out there? But power tools and building supplies are the number two item shoplifted. And in my guesstimation, I'm going to say that that's probably mostly people doing exactly what we're talking about here. People just walking in, loading up carts, and, and stealing them to resell. The fashion accessories, maybe that, but probably just as much of people just looking for stuff for themselves. I don't know. I don't have the full details on that. But, it, but you know what? Some retailers, they're done with it. They're, they're, they say no more. And that is Home Depot has reached out to their suppliers and says, guys, you got to do something. You got to work with us here. And they are implementing a new uh, a, a new uh, program, a, a, a new technology put into the, built into the power tools that you will have to activate them at purchase. When you go through the line and you pay for stuff, you're going to have to get it activated via a Bluetooth technology. And that's going to, otherwise the tool just won't work, won't work at all. Boy, that's, that. I, I, there couldn't be any problems there, right? I mean, I'll tell you what, I've had a lot of tech that requires activation and I have yet to have one that wasn't an issue where it reset its security code at some point and I had to call the manufacturer and spend hours on the phone to get them to reauthorize it. That this is just this is just bound for uh, pain and suffering for the end user, for the legitimate end user. Of course, the guys who are selling it, they're gonna buy it in the box, take it and resell it, you know, online somewhere, and, and the, before not even test it, they don't care whether it works a lot. It's gonna be a new tool in the box. Someone's gonna give them money for it. Anyway, uh, Hack Day talks about Home Depot selling power tools that require activation in store. They're saying that organized retail crime has cost retailers $719,548 per $1 billion in revenue. This is, it is getting to the point where it's, it's honestly ridiculous. Uh, gangs are going out and clearing out stores. Will this deter them? I hope, I hope, you know, claws crossed on this one. I hope that uh, this, do, this tech does work and it does uh, eliminate the problem. I worry this is going to put a huge burden on the honest user, the honest end user. Because you're, I mean, if you're going to have to get them activated, that means you're not going to be going through self checkout. You're going to have to wait to go through the line there where they have the one person who's actually working at, at the register and hopefully he or she knows how to work the system. I, I, I've just, you know, I have you know, nightmares about how this could really turn out. 
One thing I do have to say with this, at least Insider, Business Insider, they got what looks to be a moderately current photo. Here we go over to Hackaday. What is this black and decker with the Nike? But worse yet, we've got Gizmodo. How old is this photo? They got we got rigid. We got the old blue Ryobi. We got, this thing's it's older than most of my Cubs. This is ridiculous. You could possibly go out and get yourself a new photo to cover this. But the fact of the matter is that uh, power tools are a, a big target for people, and they and hopefully maybe this will fix some of it. Maybe that also cause some of the prices not to get so out of control we can only hope and pray right but anyway i wanted to let you know that perhaps maybe perhaps there is light at the end of the tunnel but i think that light's going to have a gate around it hope you have your passcode hope the tech works for you all anyway that's all the bear has for you today let me know what you think about this tech are you, is this something you're looking forward to is this something you think will work are you seeing problems like i'm seeing here let me know down in the comments uh, let me hear your thoughts and your feelings about this. While you're down there, don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, and ring that bell on the way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.